everybody so oh my gosh I am late because I lost my way so I got to Gigi's late but I am here now and I am so excited because uh, I cannot wait to show you this beautiful cute store and if you're the kind of girl who likes you know who is a um, uh, uh, an Audrey Hepburn girl so I think like this is your kind of store if you're a Marilyn Monroe girl this is your store so uh, I am very very excited to show you what uh, we have in here and uh, I am just gonna move this over to Julia and she can introduce herself to you guys yeah hi I'm Gigi owner of Gigi's House of Frills thank you for visiting us today um, here's the store <laughs> Julie, also tell us about like, you know, what made you start this like cute little place and everything that you do here. Yeah, um, well, I've been a fan of lingerie since before it was appropriate for me to be. Um, <laughs> and a fan of old stuff in general, literally my whole life. I used to garbage peck as a child <laughs> for pressure, right? I always have loved all things old and as I got older that grew into more refined taste for things that are truly vintage yeah. and, and beautiful and antique, right? Um, and yeah, I, I mean, I that my interest in vintage and lingerie often intertwined and eventually became my preference for lingerie um, was vintage styles, not just true vintage, but like pinup style stuff, like, yeah. you know, long line bras and garter belts and bullet bras, of course. Um, and stockings, yeah. Um, and there just wasn't a lot of options in Toronto. Uh, lots of beautiful lingerie, lots of amazing lingerie stores in Toronto, um, but nobody was really doing the true pinup style stuff that I wanted. So I was ordering online for years, and sometimes stuff would fit well, and sometimes it wouldn't. And yeah. to send it back to England was a lot of money, so I got <laughs> stuck with a lot of stuff. Um, and I thought I can't be the only one trial who wants to try this stuff on, right? Yeah. And see it in person. I know a lot of people just like to feel fabrics before they buy something. Um, yeah, it's really that simple. I I always knew I wanted my own business. Mm -hmm. I, my father's an entrepreneur. His father was an entrepreneur. It's that kind of thing sometimes that's just in your blood, I think. Yeah. Um, and, you know, over the years it was different things, but then I, I decided that this was something that I thought would fill a gap. Yeah. And it's fun. And, yeah. And you're an awesome person, so, you know, I can, like, imagine people just coming in and be like, oh, let me just go say hi to her. So, oh, <laughs> that's you. so cute. <laughs> awesome. Okay, Gigi, so show us around. Show us some of your absolute favorite things in the store that you have. Yeah, well, what I'm thinking about specifically boudoir photography, um, mm -hmm. one item that first came to mind, always does, is the Dottie's uh, robes. Oh, so, look at that beauty. Yeah. Oh, my goodness. And this is my favorite color ever. Yeah. Right. So I named my company after this and my daughter's <laughs> my daughter's nursery is in lavender so i'm like purple canvas photography is my major company name and then there's like this lavender nursery so i love it oh i love this yeah, it's beautiful, right? super cute super cute and it's uh it's net so it's it's real nylon what? oh That's wow what's interesting is yeah feel yeah it. like so this if you feel that super soft super and soft feel this which is a true vintage piece Oh my goodness. It's the same stuff. Yes. And why that's so special is because most designers nowadays do use mesh. Yeah. And mesh is awesome. Yeah. It has a whole different way of swinging. Yeah. It feels different on the body. Um, and it's very durable. Okay. Nylon's quite delicate. Mm hmm. But nothing floats like nylon. Yes. Right? It has a very ethereal look to it. Oh, it's absolutely beautiful. And absolutely yes, beautiful. Not, yeah, not a lot of people are doing this. And uh, Dottie's Delights, she's now based in Nashville. Everything's made mm -hmm. there. Uh, she's one of the few designers who's making lingerie 
mm-hmm. in real nylon stuff. Oh, wow. So that's why it's so special. Wow. Um, and as you can see, it looks perfect with true vintage. Yeah. Which is also why I love it. Uh, you know, like, uh, a couple of nights ago, Emmys. Yeah. Clara Foy won uh, the best actor for a drama series. Um, and she played Queen Elizabeth, right? So okay. every time I hear like nylon and like pure all this stuff, it just like <laughs> transports me back to the portrayal of of, of uh, Princess Margaret in in uh, the Crown series and everything. Because you'll see a lot of these kind of, you know. Oh, don't be embarrassed. Like, <laughs> oh my gosh, like you know, there's nothing to be embarrassed about not being obsessed with the royal, uh, the British royalty. <laughs> 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 Oh, the, <laughs> the, <laughs> the fashion is very good, and then yeah. I think for the most part, I watch it just to see the um, that how much of like human story is in there too. Sure. So of course the politics is there, and uh, you know there's this whole thing like you know it was the concept of royalty. Like we're in Canada, why are we having to pay so much to a royalty? That doesn't really do anything for us. Like what's going on here, right? Um, but like for fashion and for you know just for like good art and good theater. I think it's a very good show to watch. So, uh, your <laughs> yeah. So the environment of the store, like it's like you know, am I in England right now when Prince uh, when oh when God. the Queen was a oh younger woman? <laughs> 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 like when people, some people say when they come in when they hear the music, yeah, and they see all the old stuff down to the antique counters and stuff. Yeah, they feel like they've been transported in time. Yes, and that's one of my favorite. I love it. That's kind of what I wanted to create, right? Yeah. To time in a good way. Yes. Yeah, yeah. No, no, no. We, yeah, we still want the right to vote. We'll, we'll keep that one. We'll keep that one. <laughs> okay. Um, what else do you absolutely love in your store? Stockings. Yeah. So, well, lingerie is one of my biggest loves. Stockings have always been my greatest passion. Um, real... Nylon stockings, vintage nylon stockings are exceptional, but mm -hmm. for most people, especially if you're new to stockings, I would absolutely recommend reproduction stockings, which are, you know, super stretchy and easy to wear. This is our sample stocking mm -hmm. um, from what Katie did. So these are all pretty much by what Katie did mm -hmm. um, because they're making really great stockings. They're really comfortable. They're really stretchy. They fit a wide range of people. But the funnest part is they also come in a wide range of seam colors. Beautiful. So you can match your back seam to your outfit. Yeah. Uh, your lingerie, you know, whatever you're wearing, whether it's your outerwear or just your mm -hmm. lingerie outfit. They just introduced a, a real Cuban seam. Yeah. Or sorry, Cuban heel. And the repro line, which I'm a little bit obsessed with because they did such a good job. I have seen this. <laughs> I'm um, but yeah, I, I, the reason we have the sample stocking uh, is because we teach a lot of people how to use garter belts here because we get a lot of people who've never worn garter belts. Yeah. And it's awesome. I love being able to... You know, yeah. teach people the wonders of garter belts and stockings. That's, I learned on the job because yeah. uh, oh, the first time I shot a boudoir a client who brought the garter belt, I was just like, oh, okay, let me just get a, get a glass of water and I'll help you out. And I was like, cool, cool. <laughs> and then I was just like, okay, now I can help her. Because yeah. like it is like, you know, somebody who's never done that. And that was like, I'm talking about like maybe like, you know, four years ago. Yeah. Um, and then I was like, maybe I should wear it sometimes too. <laughs> but yeah, like yeah. it's such a, it's such a like fun thing to watch. Even like somebody was never, they like, oh, I just bought it, but I've never worn it. Can you help me put this on? Like, yeah, I can. Now I can. Because now I know how to. <laughs> so what's your, what's your favorite one? Well, I, hmm, it's hard to answer which belt's my favorite. I'm a real garter belt girl. Like if I mm -hmm. can only get one piece from a set, yeah. I get the garter belt. Not the yeah? Yeah. I love garter belts. Oh, wow. <laughs> um, the newest one we have in, the little bow one, is kind of killing me. It's so, so cute. Pretty. Oh, my gosh. Um, but I do almost always recommend 
what Katie did, standard uh, Matrice. Mm -hmm. Reason being, it is so comfortable. Now, again, I recommend this for people who are looking to wear stockings on the daily. Mm -hmm. uh, I call it the sportswear of garter belts because you literally forget you're wearing it. It's so comfortable. Wow. It moves with you. Plus, it comes in a great size range from size mm -hmm. 4 to 18 dress sizes. So, uh, fitting waists from about 23 to 38, I would say. Maybe, okay. Maybe a bit more. Um, so, it's a great size range. Um, mm -hmm. You know. It's and it holds everything in? It, 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 it's, <laughs> a, it's a medium hold, I would okay. say. Okay. Um, and because it's a deeper belt, mm -hmm. we call this a deeper belt. This is what we would call a narrow belt. Ah. Um, the difference is, of course, the length. Yeah. The benefit to a deeper belt, too, is it tends to sit in place better. Okay. Because there's more fabric. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Also, great for photography. Yes. And belts and stockings. I mean, interesting lines, right? Yeah. And it's an easy way to yeah. get into this world. And I'm also thinking that this is also a very good option for... Uh, two kinds of uh, women who really really come to me for with a lot of insecurities about bellies um, yeah. like I'm a mom myself so I understand when they say like I don't want my stretch marks showing too much and you know it's like it's 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 I, I don't feel comfortable so what can we do about that so I think this would be and you know I usually tell them high-waisted panties are a great yeah. idea but garters is like you know you can still wear like a thong and a cute thing okay. if you want to but if that is your problem area i don't want to call it a problem area because uh, you know it's not it's just about how you look at it but if that's what you're most concerned about i think like this would be a great option for them and then other women who have recently lost a ton of weight they tend to have a lot of loose skin so they're like oh in the next year or two I'm gonna have uh, surgery and then I'll you know then I'll do that but I think something like this would also hold all of that in and they can still have yeah. like a really nice photo shoot done for themselves totally totally we have lots of pieces actually um, it, it's and it, it sometimes I get it it's even just uh, a little bit of shyness yeah that you are intrigued by the idea of boudoir and photos in your lingerie but being just in your panties hey. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, like stuff like you're, you made me think of well yeah no this piece I, I really love even though the revamping it so we don't have much in it right now mm -hmm. this is just a really dramatic high waisted girdle oh that is so nice yeah so it's super sexy but also a lot of coverage yes um, because you know sometimes that's what you want yeah and the shape is gorgeous it yeah has a built in cincher so okay most girdles sit here yeah. This one actually sits up. Okay. Um, so the shape is, is really beautiful. Yeah. Yeah, so that's a that's a, a piece I've, I've definitely sold a lot for photography. Oh, that is um, beautiful. Yeah, it's gorgeous. And I th I'm also thinking, like, if we could pair this uh, with maybe, like, that mesh bra. <laughs> yeah, well, that's a real, like the that's sheer a real thing. vintage bra. Oh, like, um, you know, because you're covering so much down here, but... Yeah. You know, revealing a little bit up there. Because, like, a lot of... Like, most women do love their boobs a lot. Yeah. Quite a lot. So, <laughs> you know, like, I've found that they're, like, more comfortable with implied topless than they sure. would be, like, you know, with thongs. I'm like, huh, that's an interesting thing. Uh, but I think, like, you know, coverage on the bottom, but revealing on top, that'll yeah. just add a little bit of spice to it. Totally. Um... Yeah, I mean, you could you could also pair it with like something like a lace bralette. Yes. This is one of our local designers with Love Lingerie. So with Love Lingerie is all handmade in Hamilton. Oh, that's beautiful. Um, by uh, the designer's name is Carrie. She's an awesome woman. Oh, guess what? I may be photographing her. Oh, la la. Yeah. <laughs> So we have some conversations going oh, on, well, so great. that might be, you know, another thing to look out for. Yeah, she's, she's an amazing woman. She's yeah. a woman. Um, she's a very talented person. I can see that. And a very kind person, too. Um, yeah, so something like a little lace bralette, actually, with a kind of hardware piece, like a yeah. would be a really cool juxt juxtaposition, too. Right? I love it, Soft yes. And, awesome um, since we're on the table 
also yeah. talk about one of our other local designers. Mm -hmm. You were talking about high-waisted undies. Mm -hmm. Now, these are cotton undies, and I get that's not what a lot of people think of when they think of maybe boudoir, but they're so cute they, that like, they look great. I know. Boudoir. And this is this style's exclusive to our store. Okay. Uh, this is a woman, uh, Inspiration Vintage. Renee, she's uh, based in Parkdale. She okay. hand makes every single piece herself. Wow. And um, we work with her directly uh, in coming up with our designs. And this super high rise yeah. is exclusive to our store. Um, Amazing. So as you can see, it comes up really high. Even past, yeah. On some people, past the natural waist. Yeah. So it looks amazing on yeah. literally everybody. All different body shapes, sizes. People rave about this style. That's I, awesome. We call them superhero underpants because you feel like a superhero. <laughs> oh, I um, love it. I love it. Yeah. She does other styles too. Like these yeah. Movies. This yeah. is the newest set and she just got into bralettes. Oh, this is like, you know, I just love something to wear something that I can't feel I'm wearing something. Yeah. Because I don't want to go home and be like, freedom you know i'd rather feel like that throughout the day too <laughs> but like i'm at home i'm just like can i just take this thing off and like have like nothing under my nighty i would like be in my nighty all day long Aww. if i if i can't spare it <laughs> oh oh that is beautiful oh this is amazing Oh, wow. <laughs> I, I hope they make, like, baby stuff in this kind of, uh, like, you know, other companies. Because, oh, yeah. like, for my kid, like, I've been wanting to get, like, more sustainable stuff for her. Sure. And I've been wanting to get... And I've noticed that a lot of these sustainable places or a lot of the niche places, they may have a little a bit of a higher price point. But their stuff lasts so much longer. Like, I can actually get wear out of it. Um, as opposed to, you know, just consumerism, like toss it, toss it, toss it. Yes. And every year you're like, oh, I'm out of underwear or, you know, like it's, it's, it's all, it's all done. And it's been, it's been destroyed because after a couple of washes, you can't really feel it anymore. You don't feel comfortable wearing mm -hmm. them anymore. So I'd rather like now that I'm spending, I've started spending more on quality products with a higher price point that lasts me longer. And I feel better um, about like the environment and everything else too. So, yeah, yeah, totally. Um, we don't talk about it too much at Gigi's. I don't know why. We just don't. Um, but actually, I'm committed to ethical manufacturing. So everything we offer here, whether the tag says mm -hmm. made in Canada, made in India, made in China, made in Europe, it doesn't matter where it's made. I've had the discussions with the companies about mm -hmm. the factories, how they're being run, how the people are being treated. Wow. Um, because that's really important to me personally. Yeah. I know it's a controversial topic sometimes, uh, maybe which is why I'm not so open about it on, you know, in the thing, in your face about it. Yeah, yeah. But it is something you can feel confident when you're shopping here that yeah. uh, that's really important to me. So it's something that I've incorporated into my business. Yeah. Um, but, uh, yeah, and that's true. When you spend a little bit more, you generally are getting a better made product. Yes. Um, also, when you look after that thing, like I tell people, like, the simple task of just avoiding the dryer yes. <laughs> will give you so much more life out of it. I know. If you can also hand wash, yeah. it will extend the life of that item by years. And yeah. Exaggerating. I hear you. I have bras and garter belts from from what Katie did who you know speaking of inspiration mm -hmm. big inspiration for opening the store because I, I love their stuff and we couldn't get it here at the time um I have I have pieces from them that are 10 years old mm. you know wow. that's pretty amazing for a bra yeah and I'm here uh like no, honest, you know? no, absolutely, yeah. and that's what I that's what I also like strive to do, like in my business too. Like when I order prints and I order, you know, um, albums and everything, I order them from a very specialized museum printing lab in Italy, oh, because wow. like it's it's museum prints. So as long as you're taking care of them, 
Yeah. It'll you'll be able to pass it down to your great grandkids. Like right? that's how long and safe uh, and like quality wise those products are. And uh, and I love that you said like, you know that thing about like avoiding dryer. I did recently. What I've started doing is I just air dry it enough so that all the like dampness it is is out. Yeah. And then in the dryer, like, and I don't do it on high heat anymore because it's also really bad for the environment. Sure. So using like you know warm water, hot water, and using dryers for drying is not a very good thing <laughs> for the planet. Like it's September and it's hot, <laughs> right? So uh, so I'm like I'm so impressed that you do all, take all of that stuff into account and. You do educate your, uh, you know, your ladies that hey, there are other ways to take care of your, uh, um, your intimates, and that is just to pay a little bit more attention to how you treat the yeah. thing that is like touching the most intimate parts of your body. Yeah. All right. It's like it's it's it's. I think the, these are the things you should be definitely more careful about than a ball gown dress that maybe will wear it like once in my entire life and then everybody's seen me wear it so I can't wear it anymore <laughs> so that's awesome and I'm also seeing some socks here yes this yeah, is cute we, uh, we, these socks are uh, from Japan they're made in Japan Ooh. Socks. yeah I actually didn't know until I came across Tabby Socks um, what a history Japan has with hosiery oh, I really? Mm -hmm. sock making and hosiery uh they're they're very skilled and passionate about it which i think is awesome these socks are linen yeah uh, which you just don't find very often they feel a little rough and that's because they're fresh they do yeah. need to be washed and they'll soften up okay um but linen's like incredibly breathable great for days like this yeah uh when we first went yeah. outside with my boots and then when i get off and put on my heels. Yeah. yeah. I'm so, so impressed you. that you can wear heels because well, these aren't real heels. but I don't wear real heels. even like those heels, I think it's a skill that some women can pull off. I mean, even like right now I'm like wearing flats and like my I have I have owned three pairs of heels over the last 15 years and I still have just those three because I wear them so rarely. Yeah that it's like it's it's, it's it's i only wear them when i know i'm not going to be walking around when i'm going to be sitting yeah. down for dinner <laughs> something I like that sure. yeah for but sure. oh my gosh like wearing a heel you know oh my god it's it's it's, it's, it's a it's, chunky uh, or wedge heel yeah or wedge style i can't wear like a super high heel either i, I found these for photo shoot purposes Ooh. Um, and I, I tried to put them on the other day. I literally thought I, I was like, I stopped my brother. Like, you are going to. You need to fall. Yeah, nobody wants a sprained ankle, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Wow. Not 1940s, but they look it. That is so cute. But yeah. they're very cute, though. They're super cute. Very, very cute. Yeah, I love them. And those, um, that's your nightwear. Yes. Sleepwear, yeah. sleepwear. Yeah, oh, love so, it. Um, same with all of these gowns over here. Um, Very beautiful. Yeah. Silks, rayons. And rayon, this is something I, I find there's a lot of misconception about rayon, especially vintage rayon, most mm -hmm. of it, which we would call a cold rayon, which is a, of course, some cold rayon. There's some cold rayon for you mm -hmm. to feel. It uh, oh. feels beautiful, right? Yeah. It feels a lot like silk. It does. But it's a lot more durable, so we find a lot more rayon mm -hmm. because it, it's lasted. Silk breaks yeah. down easier. But rayon is not a synthetic. It is made from wood pulp. Oh, okay. So it's manufactured, but it, it, it's made from wood pulp, so it actually does still breathe. Mm -hmm. Especially the vintage stuff. It feels amazing. Awesome. And how yeah. do you like, like, it, this must be this, so much of a process to like find vintage and then curate it and then, you know, like bring it in. Like yeah. so much energy that you probably put into like making sure that you have the best of the pieces around here. Um, yeah, but I, I mean, it, I love it. Yeah. Right? I mean, for me, it's a lot of fun because yeah. in the past, <clears throat> I'm so sorry. Oh, it's okay. Um, 
I've gone shopping for vintage lingerie or hunting. Yeah. And I could really only justify buying things that I would wear or wanted to collect. Yeah. Now I can go on a buying appointment and I can buy. I'm <laughs> buying for you guys. Yeah. I'm buying for everybody. Yeah. So I get to buy things that, that wouldn't fit me in a million years. I get to buy things that, you know, I I wouldn't really wear, but I think is is beautiful and I know somebody else would love. Like it's. It's so much fun. That's and, awesome. Um, yeah, I, I do. I launder and steam everything Amazing. Uh, before it comes into the shop. Uh, and then, of course, you have to measure everything and price everything. And yeah, yeah it's a lot of work, but um, it's it's a joy for sure. This is yeah. stunning, stunning. This is so absolutely sorry. beautiful. Oh yeah, yeah. I'm just gonna show you guys around here some of the beautiful pieces here. I personally, as soon as I walked in, I think this is. This floral um, set caught my eye immediately. <laughs> immediately, this caught my eye. Mm -hmm. So I absolutely love this. I would love to shoot um, one of you guys in this beautiful, beautiful pair. Um, I would love to shoot this. Like, oh my god, this is like this is like a boudoir photographer's dream. I absolutely love it. Yeah, that's not the same as the first one. Yeah, version. this is beautiful, yeah. especially for maternity boudoir. Oh, I think this will really, really pop and like, you know, showing the bump and yeah. like the softness with that's it. Beautiful. I love it, love it. And I can absolutely see so many of my girls in this. And um, this, I love this too. For some of you who are more on the modest side, who are like, oh, I don't think I want to reveal everything, I think these pieces would be ideal for you so i really encourage you to come over here for your shopping before you come for the photo shoot because oh wow wow this is like velvety here <laughs> oh this is so beautiful <laughs> oh my goodness love it love it love it which brings me to an awesome thing we guys we are offering you guys here all right so, Gigi over here has something to offer you guys, and then I have something to offer you guys, too. <laughs> um, yeah, let me get it. Get excited. Get excited. $50. Oh, okay. <laughs> so, it's $50 to spend at Gigi's um, towards your boudoir outfit for... A shoot with the lovely Toronto Boudoir Photography. Hey, so <laughs> that brings me in. So I am giving away a $100 gift card to the photo shoot at Dream Boudoir Toronto, uh, at my studio. So that's all together, $150 for you. <gasps> what? So you've got all of that money to spend on yourselves, to spend on loving yourself. And how do you get it? You have to do four things. I will, this afternoon, I will post um, on my Instagram um, this information about the giveaway and everything. You have to like and you have to comment and tag um, one friend who you think is going to be interested in vintage lingerie or boudoir photography. Then you will follow me. You follow Gigi at Gigi's Frills. Yeah. That's her Instagram at Gigi's Frills and my Instagram is at Toronto Boudoir Photography and then you head over to my website which is dreamboudoirtoronto.com and there is a magazine sign up so sign up for that and I get all of your information that way and then I can enter you for the contest the contest will run until the end of September and uh, you will have the entire October to shop here or to and then to book a shoot with me and uh, we will pick, randomly pick one lady winner. Uh, you have to be a resident of Toronto or GTA. You have to be in the city, but otherwise, how are you going to make it to my studio and her store? <laughs> right? So you have to be local. Um, and uh, if you are, who, anybody of you who's watching here, if you're not local to GTA, you know somebody who is, you know who somebody will be interested, send them a link to this video. I'm going to be posting this in my IGTV, so you'll be able to watch it too. 
and uh, it'll be so much fun because I cannot wait to photo photograph this beautiful, you know, treasure here. I don't want to say it's treasure. Um, and I know a lot of you ladies are, you know, all about a makeover and everything. So you get hair and makeup included in your photo shoot and you get consultations, you get ebooks with like beauty and wardrobe styling and lingerie styling. There's so much that value that you get out of it. So, um, yeah, all of that stuff can be yours and you just have to follow four simple steps. I will be posting the instructions this afternoon. And if you have any questions, you can reach out to me at hello at dreamboudoirtoronto.com com or you can go over to Gigi's Instagram all of her information is there her Instagram again is at Gigi's frills and uh, you can go ahead and take a look at all the wonderful stuff that's the stuff that she has and I am so excited and I'm so happy that I came out here and I hope you guys have enjoyed the tour you guys have enjoyed the education I certainly learned a lot more about vintage lingerie here <laughs> So um, you know where to go if you're the kind of girl who wants photos in uh, pinup or in vintage um, style photo shoot. You know where to shop for that stuff. You'll come here. And it's like, I think it's one of a kind store. I don't think there's any other stores for vintage lingerie in GTA. Not in Toronto, yeah. Yeah. Thank you. Um, yeah. yeah, I haven't seen. I've seen like a lot of like really cute independent, you know, businesses who make lingerie, but not exclusively vintage stuff. Yeah. So um, this is your go-to place for that. Alrighty, I'm going to be posting more information about it this afternoon. Um, thank you so much for watching, and I will catch you guys uh, later. Alrighty.